Every day, don't tell me I'm not when I know that I am. Can't trip me, don't get in my way. It's work, but I know the drill. When there's a way, there's a will. You gotta get up, get up, get up. You gotta get up, get up, get tough. Cause when it's never quitting, quit is never win. There's no more giving. Kenna, we've talked about this before. Those back handsprings leading into your dismount are too advanced. They're not consistent. That could be risky for you. You need to take it one step at a time. It looks so awesome. McKenna. I know. I just want to impress the judges at the qualifying meet. I have to make the regional and competitive team. For girls my age, if you want to make it to the Olympics... Honey, this isn't about the Olympics, remember? You have a qualifying meet in three months. That's just enough time for you to perfect what you already have. You've got to be patient. We're going to get you where you want to go. Do you trust me? Yes. Besides, the judges are going to be blown away without the back handspring. Uh, I know that I should go where my two feet are buried deep in your concrete, and I can't get away. <laughs> I saw your back handspring dismount. It was amazing. That's the reason you're the second best gymnast on this team. Second best? Second to me, of course. Just like OPM 2016, Rio Summer Olympics. I'll be up on the podium with my gold, you next to me with your silver. Ring! Hello, Tulane? It's reality calling. I'm gonna be up there wearing my gold. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you think of the new girl? Sierra? Okay, Sierra, let's look on that front thing. She seems nice. In a totally annoying way, I heard her saying she gets straight A's. No competition there. You know who we still need to worry about, though? Megan Murphy from Performance Plus Gymnasts. Everyone thinks she's all that. Megan is pretty awesome. 
but whatever. I'm not letting her or anyone else scare me. Yeah, but if they're only taking three gymnasts for the competitive team, we need to make sure that they pick us. They will. What is it? Are you said that you've been second best to me since we were three? No. <laughs> Coach Isabel keeps saying that I have to stick to the boring, easy moves. I feel like I'm in baby gymnastics. I can handle the hard moves. Please, you can handle anything. You're a superstar. <laughs> we should get back to work or my mom's going to be all over me for messing around. Okay. Ready to work? Ready to fly. <laughs> Ready? Today. That's awesome, Macy. How about you, Mara? I got nervous. Well, I'll do it next time. Let's go, sweetie. Okay, let's go, Grandma. Honey, you need to work on your floor routine. But I'm really trying. It might help if you didn't goof around so much during practice. I'm sorry. Tulane, this is important. If you don't make it to the regional competitive team, you will never get a chance to become an elite gymnast like your sister. I know. I'll try harder, Mom. Okay. Subway cars filled with tiny souls. Some are young, and some of them are old. Saddest faces you have ever seen. Can we set each other free? Got an announcement to make. I was able to secure a primo campsite for this summer's camping trip. Yeah! yeah! <laughs> Don't forget to tell Tulane it's gonna be the first weekend in June. Wouldn't be our annual camping trip without her. Got it. Good. Honey, how was the coffee shop today? Oh, it was great. There was a line out the door all morning. Stop giving all your chicken to the dog. Macy! <laughs> Anyway, you know the guitar player I hired for Music Mondays? He didn't show up on his first day. Honey, you could have hired me. You know what? It's not too late. I can call the rest of the guys from the band, or we can get a quick oh, set honey. together. Honey, you know I love you so much. <laughs> but your grunge college rock band would probably just scare my customers away. <laughs> oh, come on. No one here can resist. No, no, no. Right. He's going to just cover your ears. Dad. I hate Tuesday. Dad, no, don't do it. Dad, no, don't. <laughs> Oh, but no, then no. came the weakest day of the week. Ready? Now. Whoa! 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 Now, whoa. 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 Whoa.
Okay, look at that. You can have a treat. You wish I were a hamster. You don't have any parents by you by your grades. You're so lucky. You get to do your gymnastics whenever you want. The nuclear envelope encloses the nucleus, separating the contents from the cytoplasm. None of this makes any sense to me. Are you guys nervous about the quiz? Nervous? Psh, I don't do nervous. Yeah, but don't you think the reading is sometimes a little confusing? Uh, You're forgetting. Sierra gets straight A's. Don't stress. You'll be fine. Oh, yeah. I don't know why I was freaking out anyways. I'm sure it'll be easy. OK, everyone. Let's get started. I hope you've all studied very hard. You've got 30 minutes. Good luck. Name the differences between plant and animal cells. True or false? Every cell has a nucleus. What is a microscope? A, a tiny piece of equipment. B, something used to study small objects. C, a measuring tool. Specialized cells do very part of the cell controls the specialized inside the cell specific terms. What were the tiny compartments that brought the hooks on the tiny plant and animal cells? C, C, boxes, D, particles. The nuclear and B, this is the nucleus from the cytoplasm. McKenna, can I see you for a moment? I just don't understand it. It's so not like you to cheat. I tried to do it on my own, but it was like... I, I couldn't remember anything I was reading. I don't know, okay? I'm sorry. It's time to meet that tutor. Mr. Wu had to give you a zero on the quiz. He did? Yeah. He thinks you have a problem with reading comprehension. He does? Yeah, it happens a lot. When I was an elementary school teacher, I used to see it all the time. Mr. Wu says a lot of fourth graders deal with this. There's even a name for it, fourth grade slump. What's that? Well, you know how to read. Now it's all about understanding what you're reading. That's where you're getting stuck. But I can't get a tutor right now. I have so much going on. You mean gymnastics? Well, yes, gymnastics. Making the regional team is the most important thing to me in the whole world. McKenna, listen up, because here's the deal. No tutor, no gymnastics. Your schoolwork has to come first. You're gonna start with the tutor tomorrow. Okay. Thanks. And we'll discuss your punishment for cheating later. McKenna? Hey, I'm Josie. So, you're my tutor? Yep, have a seat. As you can see, I've already done that. <laughs> I call him Lightning. Cool. I like the color. Thanks. 
Uh, so I guess you've been having some reading problems. Well, so my teacher says, but I really don't see how I could. I mean, I used to love to read, but... Used to? But not anymore. I don't know, it's boring. And I'm really busy with gymnastics. Oh, yeah, that's right, you're a gymnast. Well, maybe you can think of studying with me as gymnastics for your brain. Pencil. Actually, I'm already going to be late for gymnastics, so can we start? Yeah. I have a flute lesson after this, so let's make the most of our time. If uh, that's okay with your pencil. Great. Okay. So let's work on this today. You said you had trouble with a quiz, right? I guess. Okay. Here you go. What do you mean, where was I? It's Wednesday. We always get smoothies before practice on Wednesdays. Right. Sorry, I guess I spaced out. So, are you psyched for the demonstration this weekend? I can't wait to show you up with my killer bean. I don't know. My mom keeps saying I need more work on my floor routine. She says I've been goofing off. You have not? And besides, it's just a demonstration. They're not even going to be judging us. Is something wrong? No, I'm just, um... super thirsty. <laughs> The dog would have to go back to its owner. Julie's mother had to insist, even though Julie wanted to keep the dog for herself. He was so sweet and playful, and he seemed to really like her. But she realized that her mother, her mother was right. The dog didn't belong to her, even though she found it. So she decided to return the dog to his own. Return. Well. So she decided to return the dog to his own. Return. She get her own dog. She returned the dog to his own. Maybe she get her own dog someday. You, you read aloud really well. So, how do you think that Julie feels at the end of the story after she decides to give her dog back? I don't know. I don't remember. I've, I've got another idea. But... These are books my five-year-old sisters read. You really think I'm such a loser? I need to read kindergarten books? You're, you're not a loser, McKenna. So, sometimes we just have to go back to the basics and, and go back to what feels easy, you know? Don't you ever do that in gymnastics? You know, you sound just like my coach, and I'm sorry, but this is not gymnastics. I don't think this is gonna work. I think I need to get another tutor. Okay, uh, that, that's your choice. I'll tell Mr. Wu. I'm, I'm sure you can find another tutor who's more your style. I'm drawn to you like a flower to the sun. And though you hey. may not know it yet, I know you are the one. You may not be mine today, but... Tell me the theme of the story. Go. Um, bah! Sorry. Too slow. Next question. It takes more than rain to get me down. More than a day. character learn. Go! Uh, Bam! Sorry, too slow again. Who are the main characters in the story? Go! Bam! What is the setting of the story? Go! Bam! Too slow. Worst tutor ever. There has to be someone else. There's Josie. But Josie makes me feel like a baby. Hey, McKenna, enough is enough. You need a tutor, and Josie is a great one. 
Okay. Good. And good luck on your gymnastics demonstration. Thanks. Welcome, everyone. The shooting star gymnasts and I are so excited to show off for you a little bit today. In a little less than three months, our girls will be trying out, along with all the other gymnastic clubs in the area, to make the regional competitive team. Now, these girls have been working really hard. But today is just for fun, so let's get on with it. And first up is Sierra Kuchinko. Come on. this time. Good luck, McKenna. Thanks, Coach Isabel. Remember, stick to your routine. <laughs> 